chose to use A as the vertex, but you could have found vectors B A and B C and B D, and you would have gotten just a different corner um, using B as the vertex. Um, from the graph here, we can see the points are not coplanar. They do form a box that would have some volume. So when you did find your scalar triple, you should not have gotten zero um, because the points do not appear to be um, coplanar. So vector... Vector AB is negative 1, negative 10, negative 4. Vector AC is 6, negative 9, negative 8. Vector AD is negative 1, 0, negative 14. So I mean, th those are the vectors that I have, have drawn up there. If you cross these two, again, th these are the vectors that I've drawn up there, but when I drew them, I used A as the initial point. And then, so I, I didn't use the origin as the initial point. So these vectors, instead of them starting at the origin, I started them all at point A for it to more truly represent A, B, A, C, A, B. So if you cross A and B, again, you could have picked any two to cross. So if I, if I cross A, B with A, C, we will get 80 minus 36. Then remember minus eight plus twenty-four. Negative 44 plus 0 minus what's 14 times saying? Yeah, so this is like a corner of the box. Like I, I was trying to draw the box and it was, um, I, I was getting, but like, like there would be a face of the box, that's a corner of the box, and then here's another face of the box, and then there's another face of the box. Again, I'm, I'm kind of quickly drawing that, so I'm not, I, I was trying to draw it with the actual vectors, but then I, I don't know, was taking <coughs> any kind of surprises there. Did not yes or no. I can see Okay, that. okay, okay, I'm sorry, I, I just didn't know if I did them. Okay. I didn't know as a box, though. I, I mean, thought it actually, was... the box is more, it, I mean, I don't think I did a good job, right? I should probably draw it with the vectors, but 
I was having to think, it was taking a bit of time, but because like this vector is going to be parallel to that vector, and this vector is parallel to that vector, that's a little bit easy, and then this vector is parallel to this one, and then you can what have kind of this sort of, it would be a little more tilted. How does that plane on the bottom get formed? Like, there's no. I'm sorry, how's the plane on the bottom? Yeah, there's like a bottom to that box. How does that? Get, I, I thought it'd be like a uh, uh, triangle, like a pyramid. No, you form up. I mean, just think of a regular box. Like, what should we I mean, I guess the easiest thing could look at one of the old computer stands. But like this corner is made. <laughs> You know, there, there are three vectors that kind of form from that corner, so that's what you're just seeing one corner. Is that kind of that component A to B that you were showing the other night? It was that. Am I thinking of the way? Remembering there? No, you're thinking no. of something. Well, that formed the volume. Because you're basically finding a vector and another one that kind of reflects the other one, right? Well, yeah. I mean, that's what I was saying. To form your box, like this blue vector has a parallel one that starts here at that point, and that forms another psi or another... Yeah, but the, as three vectors come together to make a corner, technically it kind of mirrors on the other side, which yeah, makes right, the other yeah, end of the box, yeah. or whatever your, yeah, your, so like this side whatever your cube is the shape same is. same shape as that side. Yeah, yeah. And the top is the same shape as the bottom. I was saying, wasn't that an equation we were talking about the other night, or no? You know, I, I'm sorry, Doc, I can't exactly replace what... Maybe I'm, I could be misremembered. Do you think one of the components in projection? Is that what it was? Oh, no, oh. No, two vector vector. And that's not the scale of projection. Yeah, but well. It's like that, but with another vector. Right, I don't Yeah, the scale of projection yeah, of it, the, so if this so vector, if you vectors, project though, this you vector can, onto this vector, so, okay, the scale of projection is the shadow the that this one casts onto that one. Yeah, so it, it's not really Not the same vector. Yeah, so, when you're trying to find the scale or triple or scale or anything, correct? Well, in this case, when we're trying to find the scale or triple because its magnitude or absolute value is the volume of the box that would be formed by those three vectors. Okay, well, I'm just trying to comprehend the steps first. Um, so, when you're trying to find the scalar of, of any amount of vectors, you find the vectors and then you do a, any type of... Um, any type of cross product, and then after you, and after you do the cross product, you do the dot product with any other with the other vector that is being left out. Well, I yes. I, I want to correct some of the language a little sure. bit. The scalar triple. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you left off the word triple. So the scalar triple is the cross. It, one, you're going to have three vectors. If you're finding the scalar triple, you're going to have three vectors. So you find the cross of any two of them. And then you dot it with the other one that you didn't use. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter which two you cross and then the whatever third one gets used. The absolute value of what you get will always be the same. Okay. So if I had crossed these two and dotted it with this one, I would have still gotten an absolute value of 1,010. Yeah, where did that 1,010 come from? Is that just the distance between the points or something? Um, I'm not sure where to go with it. I mean, like, the, the first is negative 44 plus negative 966 is where it came from. Oh, I, okay. I, I, thought it was, I thought it was something else that was being equal to each other. So we cross these two vectors and got this vector as the cross. Yep. And then we dotted that with the third one that we had not used. And when you find the dot product, you multiply the corresponding components together and you add those products, and that gave us negative 1010. Cool. So is that answering your question? Mm -hmm. I, only, I understand where 